Dr. Ben Bickman. Exercise empowers muscle to pull in glucose, helping keep you insulin sensitive. This is from Mark Bell's Power Project, episode 457, on his YouTube channel, December 17th, 2020. With exercise, part of the magic is that you now have activated, if you will, an insulin independent mechanism of controlling glucose. So the muscle that we have is responsible for consuming up to, if not more than 80% of all the glucose when we've eaten a meal. So if someone goes and eats a hamburger and fries, you would see that their glucose levels would climb. And as, as the glucose starts to come back down, almost all of that drop in glucose in the blood is because the muscles have started pulling in that glucose and insulin stimulates that glucose uptake in a, in a typical setting of we, we're eating and we're just lounging around now after the meal. But in contrast, when you are physically active and you've, you've engaged that, that, that contraction and relaxation of muscles, um, now the muscle fibers have an insulin independent mechanism uh, to pull in the glucose. Basically, those same doors that would have only been opening when insulin would come and knock on them now open on their own because the muscle is basically mm -hmm. demanding it. It's, it's essentially telling the body, my need for energy right now is so great that I am not going to wait for insulin to tell me to pull in that glucose. I'm just going to do it. But part of the so, so that's that's a, a benefit there. You are lowering your glucose, and that means insulin can come down. And keeping insulin low is the key to maintaining insulin sensitivity and reducing the risk of all the diseases that come with insulin resistance. It's also the key to being lean. And if I may be so bold, it's the key to longevity, but that's a bit of a tangent. But but nevertheless, you you, you exercise, you work the muscle, Whatever it is, whatever it is, you're working that muscle, in, uh, glucose will come down and insulin will come down. People that are insulin resistant would naturally have a higher level of insulin. Their kind of baseline insulin is a little higher. Uh, so they're sort of chronically, maybe even multiples higher, two or three or four times higher than, than the average insulin sensitive person. But that's kind of at the moment, they're, they're normal. And so if insulin comes down for them, uh, their fasting insulin may be at 20, but an insulin sensitive person's fasting insulin may be at five. In that person who's insulin resistant, that 20 level is, is kind of normal at the moment. And because their muscles are insulin resistant, that 20 is, is going to be okay. They're not going to, you know, force themselves into a hypoglycemic um, event when they exercise. So them having a chronically higher insulin, uh, because they're insulin resistant, it'll still be higher during exercise, but also because of the insulin resistance, that will ensure they don't become hypoglycemic. However, over time, in the wake of that exercise session, they've become a little more insulin sensitive. They do it again, they become a little more insulin sensitive. And so slowly, actually not so slowly in some instances, it can be profoundly quick within just you know weeks. In fact, um, their insulin will start to come down. Now, importantly, as we are kind of converging these topics with insulin sensitivity and exercise, a study in humans found that when uh, you took insulin resistant people and they exercised, if they finished their exercise with a carbohydrate rich insulin spiking meal, they mitigated the insulin sensitizing effects of the exercise session. That is such a note of caution because as we see in gyms so often, you'll see some person who's likely insulin resistant on that elliptical machine and they're just working their guts out, but then they're sipping like a fruit smoothie mm -hmm. or some other kind of nonsense. Don't finish your workout with carbs or feel like you need to even be eating the carbs during the workout. Summary. Exercise helps muscle pull in glucose. This helps keep insulin low. Low insulin is key to avoiding chronic disease, being lean, and longevity. If insulin resistant, your exercise insulin levels may be high, but that is okay. In a short time with exercise, you can become insulin sensitive. 